Well, good morning to you. Taking a look outside, we can see that there are still some really low clouds as well as those nice wet roads out there. Overall, that snow shower or many of those snow showers have already started to move even further inland this morning. Temperatures sitting in the lower 30s, but pair that with these very strong winds coming from the west and our feels like temperatures drop all the way into the 20s. So if you're getting ready to send the kiddos out for school or if you're gearing up to head out to work, know that it is going to feel pretty chilly out there and you're going to want to bundle up. When it comes to our current temperatures, many of us are sitting in those 30s this morning. Many of us in the lower to mid 30s. We're going to reach our cap today. Overall, our highest temperatures will probably rise into about the mid 30s. So we're getting pretty close to what we can anticipate our highs to be later today. When it comes to our winds, they're pushing in from the northwest at about 10 to 15 miles an hour, but some individual gusts have already popped to the upper teens and even the 20s. So we can anticipate to see that those wind gusts are going to stay pretty strong throughout the rest of today. Satellite and radar just disappeared on me, but we have been seeing um, lots of snow showers, mainly right off of the lake, starting to push further inland. When it comes to our satellite and radar throughout the rest of the region, we are also seeing that those uh, rain showers that we had yesterday have since moved off to the east, so we don't necessarily have to worry about them too much. Headed into the rest of today, we're going to see overall mostly cloudy skies, stronger winds pushing in from the northwest, Overall, a couple more pops of some precipitation, but throughout the rest of this evening, we're really going to start to see a lot of that cloud cover breaking up headed into the rest of the weekend. When it comes to Saturday, we could end up seeing some cloud cover breaking up, especially off to our southern communities. They could see some of that sunshine, but everyone else mainly cloudy. Our next chance for snow showers will actually start to sneak in on uh, late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. We're going to start to see a lot of that cloud cover bringing the chance of precipitation from Grand Rapids northward. Everyone else getting just a little bit of those uh, leftover snow showers, but overall mostly cloudy skies. This precipitation could bring us anywhere between about one to two inches of snow on Sunday, so that will be our highest amount that we could potentially see for the weekend. When it comes to potential snow, I just wanted to toss this up here. The we really won't see a whole lot accumulate over the next couple of hours because it will continue to be pretty light. For today, temperatures rise to 34 degrees. Overall, mostly cloudy, cool and breezy. Scattered snow showers throughout the region. Those strong winds continue overnight. Temperatures fall to 27 degrees and it will stay nice and cloudy as those snow showers taper off. Tomorrow is expected to be pretty dry. Temperatures staying in those 30s. Again, our cap for the week is really 35 degrees. We have chances for those snow showers on Sunday, about one to two inches. Then on Monday and Tuesday, chances for some flurries. And then our next widespread system starts to move in again on Wednesday and Thursday of next week, bringing even more chances for some snow.